even though driverless cars have just hit the streets, it is already a big sensation. Nevertheless, people think that we still do not have the technology to create a safe driverless experience. Paul Yannarelli has the details. The future is now. Driverless cars have arrived on American roads. Although merely in the test phase, companies are pouring billions of dollars into new technology. Tech giants such as Tesla, Apple, Cisco Systems, and Alphabet, formerly known as Google, are racing to complete testing on software that will safely maneuver cars on busy roads. Autonomous vehicles require a lot of scientific knowledge and top-notch coding skills. In other words, science and math combine to create the brains of the car. We asked our science teachers here at Washington Park School whether they would like to own a driverless car. I would not. I really am a driving enthusiast and I like driving my car, so I think that that's something that Americans and people all over the world still enjoy. They, you know, There's still a, a huge um, percentage of people that like to um, spend their extra money on their cars and you know Jay Leno's got garage fulls so I think that's still going to be something that remains with people. People like to drive. I think they scare me a little bit uh, so I probably would not own a driverless car. The question many people are asking is whether autonomous cars are ready for the open roads. Are they dangerous? Is more testing needed? I think there needs to be a lot more testing and a lot of the kinks still need to be worked out. I do not think they're ready for the open roads in the tri-state, New York, New Jersey. We have um, a lot of commuter traffic, um, heavy traffic, um, and I think that that might just be more of a liability. Somewhere maybe where there's less traffic, um, states that have less commuters, less population, I think that would be a place where they could experiment and start with these cars. Our science teachers agree there should be more extensive and detailed training for driverless car owners. I think that there should be some kind of special training program for that because especially somewhere like here in the tri-state where um, our roads are very congested and we have a lot of traffic, I think it's definitely something that we should have training in. Absolutely, because there's different criteria to drive a driverless car, so there should be some sort of different tests to take and a different license that you need. At the 2017 Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas and at the North American International Auto Show in Detroit, driverless cars were the rage. For example, Waymo, a division of Google, has teamed up with Fiat Chrysler to deploy the Pacifica minivan as a driverless vehicle. And by the end of the year, Ford's autonomous vehicle development program is expected to test 90 new Ford Fusions in California. So far, 21 companies have been issued autonomous vehicle testing permits by the State of California Department of Motor Vehicle. 24 accidents have been reported. In 2010, 345 plug-in vehicles were sold in the United States. As you can see in this Department of Energy chart, by September of last year, there were more than half a million on the road. That was only six years ago. How many driverless cars will be on the road by 2022? I'll know when I'm a senior in high school. Paul Yannarelli, TBN.